Hello everybody, welcome to Builder Buy. We're going to take a second look at the uh, Canon uh, multifunction printer, the uh, MF249DW. First time out we set it up and we showed how to plug in the computer. We wanted to keep it simple. Had to have the USB cable. Made sure the printer was working, made sure the computer worked, the driver was all good. That's all fine and dandy. Now what we're going to do is do a second look and this time what we're going to do is specifically focus on the driver hooking it up through the network. So we're going to walk through that process and I'm going to go over to that computer and we'll take a look at that camera showing where we have the current USB connection. We're going to pull that USB connection or we're going to connect this through the network. We're going to pull that out, set that aside. We're going to plug that into the network. Now that's on the network and we should get some activity. I'm going to spin that around and take a look at the other side of it. Okay, we're plugged into the network. So what we're going to do is we'll go up here, change our view up here to number four. We're going to wake it up. We're going to go to the menu. Let's see if we can zoom in on that so you can follow us as we do this. Okay, we're going to go to menu. We're going to go to network settings. We're going to select, we've got wired, wired LAN set, configuration settings, settings applied. We'll take a look at TCP IP settings. Now this should automatically pick up an IP address from the router. But I'm going to double check IP, IP address settings, auto acquire is on, manually acquire or check settings. Now, depending on the kind of network you're on, you might want to hardwire an IP address into the printer. That way it stays in one place. You're not always hunting for it. Uh, right now it's set to configure. So what I'd suggest is hardwiring an IP address in this then going to your router and uh, telling the router to save that address for that one device. You do the same thing for computers so they always go to the same uh, place. Otherwise, if you change the order of uh, devices that plug into the network, it might come up and there's a 13 minute uh, device resolution that has to occur and that 13 minutes it just takes time for that to propagate so if you hardwire an IP address you don't have that problem but for right now for initial setting we're gonna go ahead and do this this way and then I can go back and show you how to do it the other way in the router the whole bit so right now let's go back over to that menu so right now we've got auto acquire and I wonder if I can get a better view with a different camera. Let's try that. Camera number two. I swing that around. Okay, right now auto acquire is on. We're going to check settings. Now IP address, we could set it 192.168.10.100. That's fine. So let's go back. We'll go back. DHCP settings. Acquire host name. On. Acquire pop server address. Those all need to be set. All we're going to do is get this to uh, print on the network. Some of those other features are a good idea to do, but we're not going to do that right now. Let's just get this up to print. See what else we have here. HTTP network link scan. Port number settings. First thing we're going to do is get to print. Then we'll go to the scan settings. And that's the reason why you want to be sure you got that set for a hardwired IP address. So it always stays where you want it. Okay. Let's see if we've got this set up. Let's go through the driver and get this reconfigured. So that's the printer we're looking at. There should be something in here for Canon. Canon Office Printer Utility. Let's do the 240 series on the far right. Interesting. Download software. Let's go back. The middle one. Well, none of that has anything to do with the driver. We may have to rerun the driver to make this change. So interesting. The machine cannot connect to both wired and wireless LANs at the same time. You have to choose one or the other. The machine does not come with a LAN cable or a router. No sweat. For more information about your networking devices, see the instruction manuals for the device. We're on a wired network. Connect to a wired network, page 318. We have the LAN cable plugged in. Well, the driver just needs to be reconfigured. That's what we're looking for. Okay, we went through the settings, wired. Tap the menu, home screen. Tap network settings. Tap wired. We did all that. Connecting to a network. Connecting to a wired LAN 318. Connect the LAN cable. We've done that. It's been two minutes. Risk of information leak. Wireless LAN security. That's why we're wired. So it looks like we just need to get into the driver. Hello folks. Welcome to Builder Buy. We're going to uh, reconfigure the Canon printer. We had it on a uh, USB wired connection. So we've gone through the menus and we've set it up for a uh, wired internet connection, Cat5. Uh, so now we're going to go to the software, and the easiest thing to do is just we're going to rerun the software. So we'll run the printer driver. Yes, Canon driver module. It'll unzip the driver again. And this time we're going to select network connection for, for network models, which this is. To use this program, you must remove all firewall blocks set against this program. Do you want to change the Windows firewall settings? 
Do you want to change the Windows firewall settings so that the Windows firewall block will be removed? To make the setting effective, it's also necessary to allow exceptions in the Windows firewall. It'll be easier to let them do this, so we're going to say yes. Doing a search for devices. And I'm surprised this information that we're looking for, we looked through the driver and it did not show us anything that was on the hard drive. We could call it from the menu. So we just reran the installation routine. Now it shows the device, the MF240, shows the MAC address, shows the IP address. Now what we should do is go into the router and hardwire that IP address not only into the router to be reserved, but hardwired into the printer to keep it. So that way, no matter who connects, whoever comes on, if for some reason the router has to be set, it will leave those IP addresses alone so nothing else will go to them. Otherwise, you'll have a, a network configuration problem while everyone tries to figure out where they are. That resolution requires 13 minutes. So we've got the device, we've got the IP, we're going to go next. We're selecting device, I'll zoom back in. The target device is the MF240. We're going to install the printer, we're going to install the fax, we're going to install the scanner. And there's also a Canon Driver Information Assistance Service. Interesting. When you install this service and, share, and use shared or local printers functions that will allow you to obtain device information will be added to your computer. I think that's a good idea, so we're going to install that. We had to add that. We'll click on Next. And again, if the firewall is enabled, so yes, go ahead and do what you need to do. Now here we get the primary printer driver utility. I'm going to also install the PCL6 driver. And I don't know that we need the uh, other driver, version 4. We'll just do the first two. They should do everything we need. But PCL6 is a big deal. Checking. Okay. Shows the printer. We have a port. You can change the printer name if you specify the printer as a shared printer. You can specify the shared printer name and set an additional driver, alternate driver. We'll confirm the settings and click Next. So that's going to be the printer name on the network, the driver. Use as a shared printer. We're going to say yes. Shared name. Drivers to add. We should be able to use the same drivers. Current device 1. Number of devices set 3. Because we're doing three things with this. Print, scan, and fax. So we're going to say OK. And current device number 2. PCL6. Oh, interesting. Let me back up. So the first device, and it's in parentheses 1 because we've put the first printer driver, 240UFRI2LT, that was for a USB connection. This number 1, we have to remember in parentheses, is for a CAT5 connection. If we had completely uninstalled the driver, then it wouldn't have this double setting. So we're going to leave it like this. So we're going to go next. This is current device number 1. Device number 2 is the PCL6. Then we go to device number 3, and that's the fax driver. Now, any one of these can be set as shared. We've got the first one set shared. We'll set the second one shared, the PCL6. And we're going to also share the fax. So any one of these can send out on the fax. Very cool. We're going to say next. So all these drivers are going to get installed. And the last one is the Canon Driver Information Assistance Service. So we're going to click Start, and away we go. So we've selected the device, we've selected the driver, we've confirmed the settings, we're doing an installation. It's installing the printer driver. There should be an easier way to change these settings without having to do what we're doing. Um, but this is what we found the easiest way. That If you want to go from a USB connection to a network connection, just run the driver again and it'll change those settings for you. Keeps it simple. We like simple. Now we're installing this on an HP Envy 17T laptop. So that's a spinning hard drive. Takes a little bit longer than if you're on a... Uh, Stick a chewing gum drive like an NVMe, but uh, that's the way it is. And I'm watching the drive activity light on the computer, and it is installing. It's just taking an awful long time to do it. You know, the multi-function device is coming up on the network now. Oh, here we go, finally. The multi-function drivers have been installed. You can set one of the installed printers or the installed fax as the default printer. Select the device from the list. The current setting is the plain one. If we set the one in parentheses, that's the one that's a duplicate driver. So we're going to go with that because that's the network driver. This copy of the driver was for a USB connection. So we're going to go with that one. We'll click Next. Set the default printer. Print a test page. Yeah, let's do it. And we have a test page coming out. Fantastic. So we got our test pages, which is handy. We've got the Windows printer test page for both printer drivers printed from the laptop. That is outstanding. So I had read where some people had had difficulty with their uh, multifunction device not doing what they wanted. And I don't understand because that was pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Took a while. The driver installed successfully. But what I would recommend, remember, hardwire that IP address in that printer so it keeps it. 
and hardwire that address, in other words, reserve that address in your router so that if everything goes down when the network comes back up, when the router comes back up, those devices that have a uh, set IP address that's been reserved will keep that and you don't have to worry about anybody conflicting trying to run over it. The hierarchical structure for networking in Windows is whatever the current version of Windows, the latest version, that's the one that's the keeper of the gate. If you turn on another computer, DNS resolution has to occur. It's 13 minutes. So sometimes if two computers are both, say, Windows 10, both Windows 10 64-bit Pro with the latest version, or if one of them, say, is a version of server, server takes over, takes precedence, and it'll eventually take over. It's how network resources uh, are shared. Somebody has to be the keeper of the gate, and that's where that 13-minute resolution occurs. So if you hardwire those IP addresses, those problems go away. Hope you enjoyed this. This is Builder By. My name is Gil Boyd. Appreciate if you'd subscribe and a thumbs up. If you've got so many questions about this, something we didn't get to that you want to know, please be sure and ask us here on YouTube. Thanks for watching and have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.